What's up guys, Asher from SRKCycles.com and today we have a, what year is this? 2005 Honda Shadow Sabre. With Cobra pipes, nice paint job. So yeah, let's take this thing for a spin. See what it's like. Ugh, so far so good, nice and comfy. All right guys, before we get out of here, words of wisdom for the day, Proverbs chapter 17 verse 17 a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for a time of adversity all right so honda shadow saber so i rode one honda shadow the other day it was a 750 this is this has a little more to it this is a uh this is an 1100. This is also a. It's also a shaft drive, I believe. I think the Honda I rode yesterday or uh, the other day was a uh, was chain drive. This is a shaft drive, um, which is pretty cool. Um, meaning you don't need to mess around with the chain quite as much. Um, I like shaft drive bikes. I think they're. I think they're awesome. So um, when we get up here to stop, I gotta. Oh, never mind. My words of wisdom flew off, as they normally do. So, um, but yeah, the 750 was the 750 was a really good bike. I liked it a lot. Um, but already, already you can just feel the difference in the uh, from that bike to this bike. It's like it's it's pretty night and day. Um, it's pretty night and day. This has, you know, this has a ton more power, and you feel that, uh, you really do feel that immediately. So, um, turn my high beam on in the daytime. Uh, you really do feel that pretty instantly. Uh, riding position is pretty nice, nothing too crazy. Um, you know, the controls aren't crazy forward, but they're not, you know, not mid either they're just it's a nice it's a nice comfy position the pegs feel high though they feel a little bit higher on this they feel a little bit higher on this than i did say on that uh on the suzuki i did earlier today the whole bike feels like you sit up it feels like you're sitting up a little bit higher on it which isn't necessarily a bad thing um but it's just something kind of to take note you definitely do feel like you definitely do feel you definitely do feel like you're sitting on top of the bike as opposed to kind of down in the bike. Um, sounds nice. This Cobra pipe sounded really good on this thing. Um, so, and it's got flames. Who doesn't like flames? Everybody likes flames on their motorcycle. And no windscreen. I mean, guys, what is there? Seriously, what is there not to like about this bike? Good power, good sound, fire, and no windscreen. And no floorboards. I have regular foot pegs. <laughs> um, yeah, it's nice and comfy, guys. Nice and stable. And actually, ooh. You know what? It actually moves side to side pretty, pretty easily. That's pretty, hmm. I, that was that's way easier to kind of flick around than I thought it was going to be. Again, it's no, it's no sport bike, but that's not what it is. I mean, the thing is, if you can be comfortable, if you can be comfortable and still corner this thing like relatively aggressively, like why would you not want that? Like, I, I yeah yeah. So I feel like this would be this would probably be a pretty good bike for that if you were. Uh, if you like, uh, you know, riding, you know, riding the twisties, riding the back roads in your area, and you wanted to maybe take it a little bit quicker than normal, than most of your other friends who have cruisers, um, you, I feel like, I feel like, I don't know for sure, but I feel like you could do it on this. Um, you know, I feel like it probably corners a little bit better just because the ground clearance is a little bit higher, and it does, it does flick side to side really, really easily. Um, it's again, it's surprising. We're going to take it on the highway. Take it on the highway, see what it's got. 
So far so good there guys. Holding up pretty nice. I did notice when I was putting the plate on this thing, I did notice this thing has Showa rear shocks. Are those like are those standard on the Sabre or are those aftermarket? I don't know. I mean I like when I think Showa, like when it comes to suspension, I I, I immediately think like hang on. I immediately think like higher end like performance by uh, you know like sport bike naked bike kind of deal i know they make them for other things but that's just what that's what my head immediately jumps to so and the suspension is really good on it but um yeah for those of you who might know uh, is that standard on these or was that uh was that maybe added after the fact because i'm i'm not complaining either way and neither should you Yeah, yeah. I'm curious to see how it does on the uh, on the freeway. I've only ever taken one other cruiser on the freeway, and that was like 20 minutes ago. Oh wow, this thing this thing doesn't even have 13,000 miles on it. Got uh, 12,769. There you go. Really does sound cool. So we'll see how this uh, we'll see how this thing does on the uh, on the freeway then. see what she does please nobody hit me alright some of you guys uh, some of you guys say I wind these cruisers out too much do it? Do I? I probably do, don't I? I should be shifting out of first gear a lot earlier. <laughs> but whatever, we're moving. So I think I'm in, yeah, I'm in like third or fourth gear, like I always am. We'll go ahead and, uh, we'll go ahead and pull out, see how it is. guys I like that a lot that's got plenty of giddy up coming through there good good stuff so we'll get over here and uh, we'll talk about this bike on the uh, on the highway because uh, There's a lot of wind. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how else to put that one. There's a lot of wind. Um, oh, that that smells so. I love, I love the smell of cut grass. <laughs> so, what do I think of it? It's a good, it's a good cruiser, man. It's got plenty of power. Look, I'm cruising at, there's no way the speedometer's, there's no way the speedometer's right. Uh, the, like, it's gotta be off by a, at least, probably 10 miles an hour. There's no way I'm going 85 right now. Um, I know how people, I know how people drive on this road and there's just no way. There's no way I'm doing 85. But, I am cruising, I'm probably cruising about, it's probably about 70 miles an hour or so. I would imagine I'm going right now. Um, and it's, I mean, outside of getting hit, outside of getting, like, hit with a lot of wind, and I'm not getting, when I say getting hit with wind, I'm not getting pounded. Like, it's not beating me up. But there is, there is a lot. 
there is a lot which is fine it doesn't bother me and I am more than comfortable to just sit here just sit here and hang out and it's doing it it's doing it with no issues so yeah all right probably didn't need to <laughs> there we go went down too many I'm used to having a gear indicator if I'm being totally honest with you I, I got spoiled I got spoiled on my bike because there's a gear indicator so I'm like no nah, I got one more nope and the back wheel locks up <laughs> so what have we learned well it's a big powerful pretty quick motor I like that uh, there's fire on the uh, on the motorcycle uh, there's no windscreen it is comfortable uh, it actually say I keep thinking I'm gonna hit there and I'm not it does have pretty good ground clearance which uh, being a sport bike guy I'm definitely a fan of that um, like I keep leaning it like around that corner I just leaned it up I leaned it down a little bit and I'm like I'm gonna scrape and then I look down and realized I still had like probably another three inches like three or four inches um, so the ground clearance is good it's comfortable it sounds cool I'm sold what is that there's nothing to not like about this controls are nice clutch is good brakes are good that's a good bike guys great bike and again somebody tell me about those uh, the rear uh, the rear shocks are those stock or are those uh, are those aftermarket all right, guys, we're almost back to the shop. Uh, that was fun. That was a fun one. I had a good time with that. Um, this bike is available, is going to be, or already is. I don't know. I don't know if Sean put it up on the website yet, but uh, it's going to be available. It's already on the website at srkcycles.com. Uh, so go check it out. There'll probably also be, actually not probably, there's also going to be a walk-around video for it as well. So check that out too. Uh, thanks for coming and hanging out with me guys again. This is uh, This is what is this 2005? Honda Shadow Saber a fun bike man fun bike. All right guys. That about do it I'm Asher. And I'll see you in the next one If you like that video and you want to see more of them click on the subscribe button and If you guys didn't know we also have a motorcycle dealership SRKcycles.com we sell and ship bikes all over the country we have one of the largest inventories in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, which probably means nothing to you because you probably don't live in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. But we have a decent amount of bikes. So check out the uh, first link on the bottom is the website, SRK Cycles, and uh, we'll see you guys later.